A new treatment offering hope for hundreds of thousands of Alzheimer's patients. Last week, the FDA approving one of the first experimental dementia drugs. That drug appears to slow the progression of cognitive decline. Fox 5's Alexis Fernandez spoke to a man who could benefit from this new treatment. Chuck McClatchy's life changed nine years ago when he was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's at age 61. Alzheimer's is not in my family. My, you know, mother and father, aunts and uncles, they didn't have it. So I just kind of, I guess people win the lottery, I won this. It just happened. I never knew it could happen that way. Since then, he's tried two drugs, Namenda and a patch to slow the decline of the disease. His wife, Bobby, has been by his side. We do as much as we can. Uh, I'm as active as I can be. I do public speaking here in, in Vegas. Now, there's new hope for patients like him. The FDA has approved one of the first experimental Alzheimer's drugs, lecanemab. It appears to slow cognitive decline in people with early symptoms of the disease by 27%. This is going to help and not let them think that, okay, this is going to cure it. You're going to go back to the way you were. That's not true. It's going to stop it where it's at. So whatever condition you're in, that's where you'll stay. But that's okay. That's better than the other option of, of it just proceeding and getting worse and worse. But the treatment also carries risks of brain swelling and bleeding. I think there's a risk on any drugs that you take. But I also think that we need the opportunity to take these drugs because at present we have nothing. And for McClatchy, it's a chance to spend more time with the people he loves. Alexis Fernandez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The treatment is expected to cost slightly more than $26,000 a year. It's unclear if Medicare will cover the cost once it hits the market.